Hi everybody and thank you for joining me in this short video presentation regarding catheter ablation of frequent PVC in a patient with a structural heart disease. I hope you will enjoy it and join me in my future short video presentations. The patient is a 61 year old woman with non ischemic cardiomyopathy and moderate LV dysfunction and frequent PVCs with more than 15,000 PVCs per day who was admitted for catheter ablation to our center. She had no history of VT and or or presyncope or syncope. She had different PVC morphologies, but all from almost the same region. So we decided to map and ablate all the PVCs in this patient. Here we see the ECG before starting the ablation, frequent polymorphic PVCs, and in the next slide, we will see the ECG after catheter ablation. This is the ECG after catheter ablation, which shows sinus rhythm and no PVC. The question is, is the procedure finished or we have to do something for risk stratification in this patient? To answer this question, we can look at the current guidelines which published uh, this year, and these are recommendations for cardiac magnetic resonance imaging in patients with frequent PVC and for also programmed ventricular stimulation in these patients. As a class 2A recommendation, we can use CMR for risk stratification of sudden cardiac death in patients with frequent PVCs and especially in those with a structural heart disease. And in addition, we can use programmed electrical stimulation for risk of stratification in these patients. Now, let's take a look at the results of MRI and also the programmed electrical stimulation in our patient. In cardiac MRI, we see that she has extensive late gadolinium enhancement. During programmed electrical stimulation, we induced a monomorphic fast VT, hemodynamically unstable VT, with a cycle length of 290 milliseconds. This case presentation shows the importance of risk stratification in patients with structural heart disease and frequent monomorphic PVCs. Cardiac MRI showed extensive areas of late gadolinium enhancement, and we were able to induce a monomorphic VT during programmed electrical stimulation. So in conclusion, based on these findings, she received ICD in the same admission. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I would like to invite you joining me here in my future video presentations.